Flamethrower. All hands, emergency team! Emergency team! Last resort. Thursdays this fall on ABC. With the U.S. women's Olympic gymnastics team winning gold at the London Games, a lot of young girls are now dreaming of Olympic glory right along with their parents. Foundational News' Mark Blaine has a look at what some local parents are willing to sacrifice to see their children get top-notch gymnastics training. The gold medal is ready. It's a team dream. The U.S. women's gymnastics team winning gold at the London Olympics. The feat did not go unnoticed by members of the aftershock gymnastic team. The up-and-comers who train at the Power Kids Gym in Palm Desert aren't shy about how they'd like to compete at the Olympic level one day. I can see myself doing it, and it's awesome to show the world that you're out there to compete and be on top of the podium. I train so many hours. It's just to see that if I trained so many hours and then went to the Olympics, it would definitely be paying off. But the time and money to earn a spot on the U.S. Olympic team can be staggering for parents. On average, they spend at least a quarter of a million dollars on training and on average take their kids to and from for about 20,000 hours of practice. Shannon Murdica, the mother of 12-year-old Haley, has heard those numbers before. But for her child's well-being, she says she and her husband are more than willing to make the sacrifices. We're just so proud that she's found something that she loves, she's good at, and if she's going to make their sacrifices and put in the effort, then the least we can do is support her. Jason Dave Reiner feels the same way about his 13-year-old daughter, Sierra. Regardless of whether the Olympics are in her future, he believes the sport is giving her a good foundation for life. Excellent physical conditioning, obviously, and beyond that, it teaches them uh, important life lessons such as teamwork, discipline, responsibility, etc. So that's, that's really the goal. And part of the goal appears to have already been reached. When parents hear their children, don't take them for granted. They do a lot for me. They drive me here and pay for me, so I really appreciate it. I am aware, but I love them so much for that. And it just for them to have to sacrifice stuff, too, to do what I want to do, it's just I'm so thankful for them. Mark Blank, News Channel 3, Palm Desert. Takes a lot of work, dedication, and money. Absolutely. <laughs> well, August is off to a muggy start after a midsummer rainstorm.